Bugs are always a big hit with kids. Check out Bugs, Bugs, Bugs by Bob Barner, available now on BookFlix through Power Library. Let's make a bug. The materials you'll need are paint, eyes, egg cartons, scissors, and pipe cleaners. Let's get started. First, choose what kind of bug you'd like to make. It could be a spider, an ant, a caterpillar, a butterfly maybe? I'm going to start out by cutting off one part of the egg carton to make my bug. I'm going to make a bee. Using my black and yellow paint, I'll paint my egg carton. You could also color your bug with crayons or markers. My black and yellow stripes are all done, so now I'll let my paint dry. Now I'll poke two holes toward the top of my bee where I will be inserting the wings. Make sure to have a grown up do that part. I'm going to cut my pipe cleaner to the size I want and bend it into a wing shape. Then I will insert it into the hole on either side of my bee. Here's my bee with his wings all done. Then I will cut six legs for my bee from the pipe cleaner. I poked six holes in my bee towards the bottom of the egg carton and now I will insert the legs. You can bend and shape them so they look how you'd like. My last step is to put eyes on my bee. And here is my finished bee. In our bug kit, we received a lot of different materials and there's so many fun things you can do. We have a stencil, tweezers, bugs, bug stampers, and Play-Doh. Let's have some fun. I'm going to use my stamper and make a picture of bugs. First, I'll stamp some bugs down and then think about the habitat they live in. I'm going to put some grass down for the ground. And I'll make this centipede on a rock. Add in some dirt and some details in the background, like a sun and clouds. You can also have some fun with patterns with the stampers. My first pattern is a simple AB pattern. I'm going orange, purple, orange, purple. Encourage your child to predict what would come next in the pattern. Then you can try a more challenging pattern. This is an AAB pattern. So it goes orange, orange, purple. 
orange, orange, purple. And then ask your child to continue the pattern. Play-Doh and the bugs can provide some fun, open-ended play for your child. I squished out my Play-Doh and flattened it. And I'm going to see what kind of an imprint each bug makes. Let's see what happens with the caterpillar. Now we'll try the spider. Talk about what is the same and different in the impressions from the other bug. Next, you can take your bugs and really squish them down into the Play-Doh. Have your child use the tweezers and pull them out of the Play-Doh. Using tweezers is beneficial for building fine motor skills, which are helpful in holding a pencil, drawing, and scissor skills. Your child can also use tweezers during free play, sorting and categorizing toys, and also for transferring play where you move one object from one container to another. Now I'm going to take the Play-Doh and roll it into small balls to make food for my spider. Then I'll use the tweezers to pick up the food and feed it to my spider. Now let's try to make a bug with our Play-Doh. I think I'm going to make an ant. I'm going to roll out three balls, add six legs and antenna. You can talk with your child about the different body parts on an insect. Insects have six legs and three body parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. Here's my finished Play-Doh Ant. Let's have some fun with our stencil. I'm going to start out by tracing with a pencil. This is great for eye-hand coordination and fine motor skills. You can also color in the stencil with different art materials. I'm using crayons, but you could use markers or colored pencils. You can also paint in the stencils. Here I'm using watercolors. You can also work on color mixing too to make different colors for your bug. You could also use different utensils to paint, maybe dipping a sponge in paint and sponging over the stencil, or Q-tips, or even your fingers. Let's make a habitat for your bug. Here I chose my caterpillar. Take a walk outside and gather some materials from nature. I found some grass, some leaves, flowers, rocks, and sticks. And let's go ahead and put them inside of our container and make our bug a little home. I put my grass and rocks inside on the bottom of my container. Now I'm going to add some sticks for my caterpillar to crawl on. Now I'm going to add some leaves into my habitat for my caterpillar to eat. Talk with your child about what your bug eats and you can add that to your habitat. I added a flower to my habitat and now it's time to put my caterpillar in. I think he likes it.
Pennsylvania One Book is a program that highlights the importance of early literacy development in preschoolers and the significance of reading early and often to children. For more information and resources, visit www.paonebook.org or contact your local library.